worst reviews. Um, yes, today is going to be a strange day for worst reviews, and I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. Uh, I can I can definitely tell you. Um, anyway, in my last vlog, um, I think I might have told you guys that I was taking a film class. Yes, a film class at uh, my college, Tech. Um, and uh, what I decided to do was, hey, my formula for worst reviews is just review anything that's been in the movies recently and that I've seen and am able to talk about. Um, and that has just been the formula ever since. I've been attempting, of course, to do album reviews or whatever, but not really being well received by the public, you see. But anyway, um, yes, what I thought of was, hey, I haven't been doing any videos recently and I need to start doing videos again. And I don't really have money for theaters, and there's really nothing good out in theaters. <laughs> I think so. Don't, don't, uh, don't, uh, uh, okay. Whatever. Anyway, um, yes. The first movie we saw in film this year, and we have to do responses on each of these films throughout the year. And, I mean, as long as we're analyzing it, I'm like, okay, might as well just review it. And, boom, I got worse reviews. <laughs> Big surprise there. Anyway. The Fighter is what I'm reviewing today. A bio biographical sports drama starring Mark Wahlberg and Christian Bell. You may or may not have seen it. Um, if you have, it's a it's a good film. It's it's all right. It's pretty cliched at times. That's the point. Like what we did in film, we analyzed the aspects of classic Hollywood style. And what it's trying to be is a classic movie. It, it, I think it would fit, fit right in there with Rocky or any other sports, technically sports, movies. I mean, not a comedy at all. Kind of like uh, Here Comes the Boom I saw this week. And, you know, that's a, that's clearly like a comedic take on the sports, sports drama, like, uh, genre. And uh, it's really done deadpan serious. And, I mean... I, there are some comedic moments. I mean, Christian Bale being the uh, crack addict brother. I mean, uh, I mean that's not uh, that's not really what you would call a comedic element. But I mean, he's there for comic relief at times. And Mark Wahlberg is the stereotypical. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to do right, and I'm gonna try to be a fighter and be a boxer. And in the end, you know, he prevails. Big spoiler there. But um. See, uh, I, to me, sports movies, uh, they, I don't really, they don't really do anything for me. I mean, they're good. I mean, there's a, there's a billion of them. I mean, obviously, I mean, I'm more about the comedic ones. There's been more comedic ones uh, in recent memory. You know, Talladega Nights, uh, Happy Gilmore. Um, you know, stuff like that. I mean, I can get into, of course, but. It's just it's just the serious sports dramas like Cinderella Man. I, I'm sorry. I mean, it was good on a dramatic standpoint, but I, just, I don't know. I just I just couldn't really I can't really get into sports movies that much. I mean, to be extremized. But anyway, The Fighter, all in all, great film. Um, just trying to be is just a classical style. All in all, and I forgot to do this for Zero Dark Thirty, but. Uh, Four out of five. I mean, I don't really... Sports movies don't really do that much for me, but if it's your thing, then boom, go for it. I mean, it's a good movie in a respect. But um, uh, I'll be reviewing more movies that I've been watching in film uh, in, the f in the future if I don't see any movies in theaters or if it's a movie I see in theaters and then I'm like, oh, it's not even worth reviewing or is, then you'll have those videos from me, but uh, otherwise, uh, I'll be seeing you guys later. Uh, next next review is gonna be Rear Window, because we that was the next movie we saw in film, and uh, I might as well review it. Review uh, classic movies. That's my new thing, I guess. <laughs> I like doing it, but um, see you guys later.